Hi, this is Stephanie, and I am so excited that you're back. Sorry I missed last week. Anyhow, today I want to talk to you about writing mature women. And when I mean mature women, honestly, I mean anybody over 45, 50, because that seems to be the age that Hollywood especially stops putting women into the limelight or whatever. I want to talk to you today about writing the mature woman and give you some tips on how you can make her amazing. I came up with this idea this week because I was watching the French show Dix Person, which is called Call My Agent on Netflix, anywhere outside of France, and it is a four season series about a group of agents in France and it's amazing. There's many things about it. I will come back to it when I talk about beginnings and, and series and character development and dialogue because it is really, really brilliant. Whether you watch it with subtitles or if you understand French, even better because the French is definitely better than the English subtitles. Anyhow, on the one of the last episodes in season four, Sigourney Weaver, who is 71 years old and is a super badass. I love her. Um, there's no way you don't know who she is, but if you don't know who she is, go to IMDb and then watch all her movies. I learned who she was when I was a little kid when she was an alien, and I just have always loved her. She is in the, sh in the show as an actress uh, that one of the agents represents, and she is has taken a role in a movie. Now, in the movie, she misunderstood because her French isn't so good and thought that she was going to be co-starring with a younger leading man. And when it turned out, they were trying to put her with an older guy. And she was like, well, women shouldn't take that. I mean, what if you are with a younger man? It's important for representation. And I feel like with the exception of Samantha from Sex and the City, for the most part, women are never seen when they pass a certain age, the age that I am now actually, they're never seen as sexy or vibrant or they are never written with younger men. Now I'll be completely honest, my husband is 11 years younger than me and it, you know, it's one of those things that if I was a man and my wife or partner was 11 years younger than me, nobody would bat an eye about it. So unfortunately it still is a thing and I don't think it should be. So I really loved that Sigourney Weaver in the show and it's not really a spoiler alert, it is about her character, but if, if, if you really don't want to learn anything about the last season of Dee's Person, the episode with Sigourney Weaver, then stop watching right now and come back after you've seen it. But I really love how she sort of forced their hand to change the script and show that a woman her age can be with somebody younger. And I think it's really, really important. Um, there was a movie out in the 2000s something's got to give with Diane Keaton and she is with Keanu Reeves who's also much younger. For the most part it's just not really seen as a thing or it's a stereotypical thing. So here are some tips to make your older female characters amazing. One, do not use stereotypes. So don't have her complaining about menopause and give her a real life because many women today, especially today, are working much older in their lives, just like men are. We are the same and we are still working. It's not like you hit 50 and all of a sudden you hit menopause and you should just be thrown out or seen as some old granny. So when you're writing these characters, don't rely on stereotypes, make them real. If you don't have any friends over 50, 60, 70, or 80, then get some. Start hanging out with people that are older than you because you're gonna learn a lot and then your writing will be more authentic. Number two, just like your younger characters, make her real. And you do this by dialogue and the way she dresses and the way she acts. Make her a real person. There is a show in Freeform called The Bold Type and it is about these three super young girls. Like they are all in their 20s and they are working in New York City publishing and they are really great. It's a great show. It's inspiring to young people and I love it even though I'm older. But I want to talk about their boss in the show is in her 50s and she is kick ass. That is a really good example 
of a character who's a bit older, but is also a really good, strong character. And I believe that we need more of these. Number one, don't fall back on stereotypes. Number two, make them real using strong dialogue and real situations. And number three is to stop listening and watching things that men have created. It's so frustrating as a woman and as a woman writer to see these things that, that a lot of men, and I'm sorry to all the men, if you're watching this, like, I don't mean to call you out, but I'm going to, because so many men say things about women and write things like if a woman is upset, it must be because she's on her cycle. It's not because she's just upset, like her feelings don't matter. And I see this all the time in writing, even in really, really strong women driven shows. What I want you to do is if you're, if you don't know how to write women of any age, but especially of older age is stop watching and really focusing on the things that have been done in the past and come up with your own, own things. Like make that woman strong. Like if you were writing a male character, you wouldn't be thinking about it. You would just be doing it. So I really want you to come up with your own female characters, make her strong in her own right. Because we as women are getting stronger all the time in the world. Our presence is being, you know, accepted more. And I know that feminism and stuff has been going on for a long time, but there is still the thing women in general do make less than men. You see it all the time in Hollywood. There are so many things that talk about the unequal pay scale. And then the Me Too movement, it was actually a really good thing that came out of the last U.S. presidency. Well, it was going on before that, but that really brought it to light. And a lot of people spoke out, women spoke out about the way they were treated in the workplace and me too. And every single woman, myself included, can say me too. And it can be something small to something huge. But so I really want you to not fall back on the old things that happen and come up with new things and make that woman strong and kick ass. And I'm really sad that Samantha is not coming back for the new revival of Sex in the City. I think it's a missed opportunity. Real shame because Samantha was such a strong character. She was about 10 years older than the other women in that show. And already that was a show about women in their 30s. And that, in, at the time it came out, was groundbreaking because there just weren't that many shows about women that age who were still going out and dating like men. You know, women are not just like at home waiting to get married. I didn't get married until I was 49 because I didn't want to get married to somebody I didn't love just to get married. So my point is, if you can be a strong woman in real life, and there's so many role models, then write your characters that way. Look at real people. You can look at women in Hollywood. Look at Glenn Close and look at Betty White, who's 99. I mean, she's still rocking it. She was working well into her 90s. Look at Gina Davis. Look at Sigourney Weaver. Look at, at Diane Keaton. Um, Glenn Close. All of the, those older women that continuously work. And just look at the things that they're out doing in the world. Look at the Women's History Museum. Just study women in general and write your characters like that. Don't fall back on old stereotypes. I know you can do it and we need it. And I'm really excited to see what you come up with. So thank you for watching and I will be back again next week. So hit the subscribe button and please follow and share with other writers. Join me in the Facebook group. And I have a new course coming up for career female writers in TV, film, and novels. And I dropped the link below to get on the wait list. So thank you and have an amazing Wednesday. Bye.